All right, we are back on the college basketball experience. We're ready to fire up, fire off. We got a short slate. Obviously, there's not going to be all the games on here. There's going to be a couple, I think, that are depending the outcome on tonight's games. So uh, check the picks page, uh, sportsgamblingpodcast.com. Click on college basketball picks, or just get the SGPN app, which is free to download in the App Store and Google Play Store. But we start off eight thirty in the morning. Thank God there was no day college basketball games this morning. It's fucking terrible. What are we supposed to do in the mornings? All right, what the hell are you supposed to do in the morning? All right. I, I walk my dog. I, I push, push my, push my son around the, in the stroller. But normally, I like to check in on some of these fucking games, see how they're going. Right? It's terrible. Uh, anyway, Davidson, Fordham, A10 tournament, Ooh. Brooklyn, New York. Davidson's laying three and a half. Fordham, not. Uh, they might have the home edge there. I don't know. Yeah. I, you know that's not far from the Bronx. Um, last time they played, Davidson won by Charlotte. 15. Yeah. <laughs> Why do they play this in New York? Is that, is that one? I mean, I like I Fordham's there, but then it's not like they're a deciding factor in the I have conference. No idea normally. Why it's not closer to the South. Like DC just feels yeah. like a perfect location. What, who do they have up there? Just Bonaventure. And well, I guess you have Rhode Island, right? They usually UMass, play but, in DC. Yeah. Makes more sense. DC or Baltimore yeah. or. Yeah. It was somewhere they were somewhere up there for UMass. <laughs> they were up there for UMass, and that and that, now UMass nobody, is bouncing nobody wants to, to Mac. Baltimore. <laughs> What's oh, that? Oh man, I like the Inner Harbor. You know what yeah. I mean? Go catch an O's game. There's What's a couple that, nice aquarium. Blocks. I went to that nice aquarium. <laughs> Six, <laughs> nice sixth aquarium. grade field trip, <laughs> fifth grade <laughs> field trip, some shit like that. Uh, Make sure you go to Pickles Pub right outside Cam, uh, Camden Yards. Great spot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Camden Yards. Go, go get cherry bombed over there. Have a good time. Uh, Davidson's <laughs> laying three and a half. Um, I'm just gonna trust the culture of Davidson. A little, little iffy on the home environment. If like Fordham fans will show up, that could be a little tricky. But I, I will lay the three and a half with Davidson. No, no lock. Mac, what are you doing here? I'm gonna take Fordham. Uh, I guess this would be a home dog in a way, home neutral dog. Uh, Davidson won the two meetings, so give me Fordham and they uh, to keep the same close game comes right down the wire. Give me the points. NC Nick, you you get you back in your uh, Carolina boys. No, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off them and go with Mac here. I mean, Davidson's lost five in a row coming into this. Actually, their last win was against Fordham. Uh, not great as a favorite, just five and eight ATS. I just think Davidson's not playing very good basketball right now. So this game is, it's a 50, 50 game. So I'm definitely going to take the points. I, I think you can find a four or a four and a half out there too. Whew. Terrell, you representing the great state of North Carolina, or are you uh, gonna, gonna go with these turncoats over here? Oh no, I'm hundred percent on the great state of North Carolina here. Give me Davidson minus three and a half. And I'm considering a lock here. I, I just don't think this Fordham team is going to be able to score. Like, I don't care if they're closer to home, whatever it is. I think that ultimately this Davidson defense is good enough to shut them down. And Davidson's got enough offense in the free throw shooting where I think that we're going to get a couple points in the end through free throws and they'll be fine. So yeah, give me Davidson. And, and I think what you're just alluding to is uh, Fordham 313th in offensive rating. I don't know. I don't even know if it'll be Davidson's defense or just Fordham, just being Fordham. Uh, so yeah, give me these wildcats. Let's go. I got a little song for it. Let's go. Davidson wildcats. Um, Oklahoma state heading to Kansas city to take on UCF. UCF's laying four and a half. No, no, no. Here's my first lock. Oklahoma state money line play. UCF, they're not gonna, they're not gonna know what the fuck's going on there in Kansas City. Like, what's going on here in Kansas City? They're not used barbecue. to this Big Twelve thing. You know what I mean? They ain't gonna know what barbecue joint to yeah. go to. They're gonna be cold as shit outside. They're gonna be like, what the fuck are we doing here? Um, yeah. Oklahoma State. Everyone's already writing off Mike Boynton. He steals one. He steals one for the next the next team that's thinking about hiring. He's a better coach than what happened in Stillwater. Uh, Mac, what are you doing here? I agree with you, and I know they lost to BYU on Saturday, and they've lost five in a row, but I actually thought they played hard on Saturday. And they just played UCF two weeks ago. UCF got it done in Stillwater. There's going to be as many fans at that game in Stillwater as there will be in this game in Kansas City tomorrow. Nobody will be at this game. Give me the Cowboys outright. Lock it up. Let's go. Revenge. I I love that money line angle. He's good at this tournament, too. NC Nick, what are you doing here? 
we're going to lock battle boys. Cause I told you last week, as soon as <laughs> Oklahoma state lost in overtime at home to OU, that was their last hurrah. And ever since that game, they've sucked. And meanwhile, central Florida, I mean, they they got a lot to play for here. Very successful year. If they can win a game or two in the big 12 tournament, it's just it's like building up their program. So I'm on the very golden Knights of central Florida you, you, and I'll you, lock them up. You know what he's doing? He's back in his Duke boy, Johnny Dawkins. Yeah. All right. Dematha grad though. Dematha grad. Uh, uh, before I play the battle music, Terrell, do you have a side on this? Uh, are you going to bet this or are you, uh, who are you taking it regardless? Oh no. I am a humble bystander in this one because both of these <laughs> two teams, I don't think are that good. I, I, I think UCF only has the Super Bowl angle of, Hey, this is our first time in a big 12 tournament. Imagine if we kill one of the staples of the big 12 in Oklahoma state. So I think that they're going to go out and ball for this game, but I'm not betting this UCF team. No way. All right. Well, we have battle going on. Dundee, Mac, saying, how about them Cowboys? NC Nick saying, give me the golden, the very golden Knights. It's uh, what do they say at the Duke? The brotherhood. This is the brotherhood, right? The brotherhood. Uh, yes, right. Johnny Dawkins, <laughs> former Duke blue devil back in the day. Um, George Johnny's Washington. The one, Johnny's the one that got it going, really, Nick. I mean, he's he was the first yeah. guard for K. He was How part come of Johnny the Dawkins class with Tommy Amaker and Jay Billis? Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, I know he, Johnny Dawkins struggled at Stanford, but they didn't give him the Jared Haas treatment where you could stay there for 12 years and struggle. <laughs> they gave Dawkins just a couple years. Yeah. I call bullshit on Stanford over there. You know, like, what is Jared Haas? He's got, I know he's got photographs. I, I think it's going to be hilarious when he wins the Pac 12 tournament. I think Stanford is a good value play for the pet. We're, we're going to talk conference tournament shit later tonight. This is a, this is two episodes, but um, you know, you, you look at what Jared Haas has done there. And you're like, how the fuck did Johnny Dawkins not get that big of a leash in Palo Alto? Um, George Washington is catching two and a half <laughs> against LaSalle. The colonials have been ass just absolute ass over the past, really, they're actually one of the. Mo- I actually think this might be the, one of the more fascinating teams in the country because I don't understand how you're this good, yeah, for half the season and that bad for the other half without injuries. Like they didn't really have injuries. Um, I'm all over LaSalle and Fran Dunphy. Their team playing better down the stretch, covering for me in a bunch of games. Um, I'm gonna lay the two and a half. I think Fran Dunphy's old school. He's got, he's got one up his sleeve here. I'm gonna lock up. The explorers go explore a brand new world there in New York City with the LaSalle Explorers. Who's coming with me, Mac? You coming with me? Yeah, I think we got to. They just beat them on Saturday. I I know sometimes we we like to take the revenge angle, but I think we get a better coach here in Fran Dunphy than Caputo at uh, at G Dub. And I just don't like the way G Dub finish at all. I, I think they suck. I think they quit. Now. Lock it up. And see, Nick, what are you doing here? I know uh, you're you're a big fan of the Colonials back in the Mike Jarvis, Yinkadari day, days. Uh, what are you doing here? No, no, not so much. I'm George Mason, not George Washington. Uh, yeah, I mean, LaSalle swept the series, and the line on March 2nd was five and a half. So I feel like you're giving him a discount at two and a half. So I will go LaSalle. I'll lock that up with you guys. Triple lock. Do we have potential for a quadruple lock? Terrell, what are you doing here in this matchup? Guys, G Dub sucks, man. You're they terrible. are horrible. <laughs> they are horrible. Whoa. Yeah, man. I didn't want to do it, but go ahead. Quadruple lock it, man. G Dub. That's is really, what really I'm talking bad. about. Quadruple lock on the explorers. What could go wrong, guys? Oh, what God. could go G-Dub. wrong? I, I, hey, right. Colby. Maybe I I'm jumping change. in here. I, oh. I gotta make it the first ever quintuple. Oh, oh, this is wow. This is five coming in oh, on, on the side. What tough one? I gotta Google that and make sure that's a word. It is. Tuple, I know. I'm not. I'm not doubting you. I'm doubting me. Um, I I freaking billion, love the billion. point. I love the point that NC Nick brought up. I mean, this is the value of it not being at uh, you know at LaSalle or wherever that game was, why we're getting three more points here on a neutral floor than uh, originally, you know, I, I don't, I don't understand it. So uh, I am on LaSalle here and George Washington, they finished one in 12 in their final 13 games. I mean, this is just, give me, give me a LaSalle. 
I, I need to see a 30 for 30 on what happened at George Washington. Something happened in the locker room. Cause that like early in the year, I mean, the, they, they partied the a bit games, too they, hard after they won against George Mason. And then the season fell apart after that. <laughs> they did. But their last two games, they beat the Bonnies and they took Duquesne to the wire. So it's not like GW's coming in. I mean, they were playing really bad basketball like a week and a half ago. Yeah, fair. I, I rode them against the Bonnies. So uh, shout out to them for that. Uh, ACC tournament kicks off, tips off, whatever the fuck. Uh, Georgia Tech, Notre Dame. Hey, we saw this in Rudy. He was offsides as fuck. Um, but uh, <laughs> Georgia Tech's getting one and a half. Oh, boy. I think Georgia Tech's roster is so much better right now. But for some reason, Micah Shrewsbury has that Tony Bennett shit in him, that Matt Painter shit in them, where they just find ways to bring you into the muck in these shitty games. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. I'm going to take the Irish minus one and a half, even though I think, I think Georgia Tech's way more talented, but I think they're also, there's something to it. Shrewsbury can, can grab wins where he shouldn't. And I think this is just the type of team he can get. I'll lay the one and a half. No, no luck for me here. Uh, Mac, what are you doing here? Well, you mentioned it was uh, Shrewsbury. He, he runs a discipline program, and that's kind of what bothers Georgia Tech, in my opinion. Georgia Tech's so up and down. They beat Duke and Carolina at home, but they sure as hell can lose anybody. I'll take uh, Shrewsbury over Stoudemire here. I'll lay I'll lay the one and a half. And that, this is in Washington, D.C., by the way. Shout out to Clark. He's in the chat. Uh, he's locking up Notre Dame. He also loves the under as a lock. That total sitting at 131 and a half. Uh, NC Nick, what are you doing here? Well, I agree with the guys that it's a bad matchup for Georgia Tech. I mean, they played twice in the regular season. Both games were very close. Notre Dame pulled out both of them. The, it went into OT in Atlanta, and they won by three in South Bend. I just think that it's so hard. I mean, we have two very even teams here. It's it's very hard for the ball to bounce your way three times in a row. I certainly don't love the play, but give me the Yellow Jackets. Mm, surprising. Terrell, what are you doing here in D.C.? No, it don't excuse my hand. I'm just trying to cover my forehead because I'm not wearing a hat like everybody else. Uh, <laughs> well, give me you're, Notre Dame. You're young here. and not balding like everybody else. Yeah, the same. Very, got, very true. I, I got that receding very hairline true, shit. You know what I mean? That thing's real. All right. No fair, man. Low blow. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, the Notre Dame genetics. man. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, yeah, you get the genetics, just get a big ass forehead, you know, and as you age, it just starts to go further and further back. Uh, you said you're taking Notre Dame, your point? Yeah, Georgia Tech only beats good teams. That's it. They only beat the good teams of the ACC. They lose to the trash ones. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Richard Claus. He goes, I'm sick as dog, boys. Uh, got the, the chicken noodle soup and a pocket full of cash, though. Sick or not, I got to <laughs> place these fucking bets. Hey, there we go. Shout out to Richard Claus. Hope you feel better, brother. Um, Cannabis capper saying, Colby, your hairline isn't receding. Your brain is growing. <laughs> it is, especially when uh, uh, I, I have to sit there and break down all of these fucking games. Um, so big 12 tournament again. Do we have to talk about this game? <laughs> that we just saw this game like what? Yeah. 72 hours ago uh, yeah. when West Virginia got housed by Cincinnati, Bob Huggins, Can Bob Huggins, put, your boy. Uh, yeah. Can we put a cut bet out there? Like if, if Huggins is there one, it's a two, it's a two leg bet. If Huggins is there, what color is he wearing? Not gold or blue. Well, he was, if you didn't catch it, NC <laughs> Nick or Terrell, he was, he was caked out and in, uh, in Cincinnati red on, uh, you know, it's uh, somebody's a bit, bit. Uh, uh, come on, dude. You brought it on yourself. What are the odds that the same thing happens twice in a row? Like what are the odds? Is West yeah, Virginia yeah, close dry special here? <laughs> I mean, I've you said, never know. Yeah. You never know. Cincinnati's That's never been a part a of the Big point. Twelve tournament. Yeah, I'm gonna take West Virginia. I'm gonna take West Virginia. I'm gonna do it. I, I don't think y'all are good. I'm gonna do it. What are the odds that it happens twice? No, I'll in a row? do it. I'll take the points too because they have never yeah. been a part I'm, of the Big Twelve tournament. It's Kansas City. This isn't fucking Skyline Chiliville. All right, they're gonna have to go out there and earn this thing. Give it was just me. a 36 point win. Like, yeah, how many people are gonna be like? Oh, I'm only laying nine and a half now. I think I think you have to take the points now. Actually, betting on it is a different thing. I'll be free <laughs> from that, but I'll I'll take WVU. Yeah. Mac, we split the season series. We won the first one. Uh, that was before we kind of laid down down the stretch. New season. Let's go ears. 
I one last time, lock, lock it up. I lock think we should up. lock this. One Let's last go. time, close your Let's eyes. Go. Oh, no, boy, I'm locking this. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do it. I'll do it one more time. Home sweet home to me. Good old Morgantown. Morgantown WB. Uh, I think it's worth it. No one's going to take that. No one is going to. We'll be the only bets on the whole all, in all of America. That, the that, that special yeah. here, baby. Let's go. Um, <laughs> St. Louis laying two and a half against Rhode Island. Oh, God. This <laughs> 10 game. They just played. See, and, and St. Louis won for me. But here's, here's the kicker. Sincere Parker, who's a fucking stud, who scored over 30 in three of the last five games for, for St. Louis. He's a game time decision. Kind of need to know he's going to play to take St. Louis. Um, I actually was, was considering a lock. If he played, I'll, I'll just take St. Louis. I think they're way more talented than Rhode Island, but also will you get a Rhode Island crowd here? I don't even know if they fucking care about the Rams. Um, Give me St. Louis, but obviously, um, if you're going to bet this, you want to pay attention to if Sincere Parker is going to play because the guy's a fucking stud. Uh, Mac, what are you doing here? I'm going to take Rhode Island. I'll take Rhode Island in this game. We'll take Archie Miller. I think he's a way better coach than uh, Travis Ford. <laughs> I, I even though Travis Ford probably has a better roster, give me a give me a Rhode Island here. No bet, no bet. NC Nick, what, what are you doing here in this one? I mean, a lot of these games are tough with the opening round or you get like the, the worst teams of these conferences. I'm with you, Colby. I know you love betting on St. Louis. I'm not going to bet them, but I'm going to take the <laughs> Billikens. I, they're finally playing better ball. They've won three out of five, had some decent road wins against Rhode Island on the road against uh, St. Bonaventure on the road. So uh, give me St. Louis. They are, I think they are more talented and they're finally they're way more talented, a little bit better. So they're way more talented. Like, dude, you want, if they can retain this roster and fire Travis Ford and bring in another coach, they're going to win the a 10 next year. Like if they just make a decent hire, they got a ton of talent on this team. Terrell, what are you doing in this one? I'm not taking Rhode Island. We <laughs> I'm not taking Rhode Island. So I guess I have to take St. Louis since that's the only other viable party here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, they're both 12 and 19, but at least St. Louis has a, like two of their better players were injured for most of the year. Rhode Island's two and eight in their last 10 St. Louis four and six, a nice, Cool, four and six. Um, Rhode Island tried their hardest and still sucked. Like they actually tried their hardest and still was bad all year. No way. Mm -mm. <laughs> you guys want a? Uh, you guys want to get rich tomorrow? There you go. Nah. There's a plus three sixty out there that is just to die for. All right. Oh, they're they're absolutely gonna win. Lock it up. Go ahead, play the, the music. Louis 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 Cardinals. The Louisville Cardinals are getting nine and a half. I, I watched this game at the Yum Yum or whatever the fuck they're calling it now, right? And this was a tie game with like what a buck twenty left, and Louisville pissed on themselves, and and NC State ended up getting the win. But this was a tie game, like minute and a half left. They're getting nine and a half in Washington D.C. against the Pussy Pack. Oh boy, I know Kenny Payne's look. He already resigned. <laughs> yeah, he's out, but I mean, he seems like a cool dude. Like, I I think I'd want to play for Kenny Payne and say, hey, let's send you out with the fucking ACC win in the tournament here. Lock up the cards. This is just the game the Pussy Pack lose. This is just the game the <laughs> Pussy Pack lose. Uh, nine and a half. At least you cover. Maybe they don't win it outright, but sprinkle a little bit on that money line. What are you doing here, Mac? I think I agree with you because I heard somebody talk about it. NC State's got an interesting path in the ACC. They got they win this, they get Syracuse, and then potentially Duke, and then who knows what could happen. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is <laughs> NC State we're talking about. There's no guaranteed wins anywhere with this fucking team. <laughs> Give me Louisville. Give me Louisville. Why is this line not above 10? Yeah, let's go. Louisville. Boom. NC Nick, you're down there. You're not far from Raleigh. Um, you got your Sydney, Sydney I mean, low jacket in the, in the closet. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> what, what, what are you doing here in this game? No, I agree with you guys. And the one thing I'm not hearing from anybody yet is the DJ horn injury. I mean, he, he went out in the first half against Pitt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did not return with the hit pointer. He's questionable. I think it's a stretch to think he might be back. So I would have taken Louisville if horn was healthy just with the points. So I'm definitely going to take him now. 
I kind of need another dog or two on my card here. So, all right, I'll join you guys. Let's yes. Take the points here. Terrell, what are we doing here? I know you. You ain't have... even got to ask me. You don't even keep it. Just <laughs> play the music. You ain't even got to ask me. Don't even Phoenix? ask me. Phoenix, you went in on this? Oh, no. God. Oh, you no. fucking. This guy. Man. Just Last week, I gave you guys shit for, for betting on bad teams. And here I am betting on fucking Louisville. <laughs> this, this, <laughs> might, this might turn out badly. We're taking all the coaches that are that this is their last game. Uh, Mike Boyd. Kevin Keats. I, I like Kevin idea. Keats, though. It yeah. might be his, his last game, well, too, that's though. That's true. Oh, shit. Well, this first. one, it is going to be his last game. And now it could be his choice. <laughs> oh, it's definitely about to be his last game after he loses. Yeah. Uh, so. Quadruple lock on the Louisville Cardinals plus nine and a half. Sprinkle that money line. Let's go. New Hampshire survived the the opening game in the AE. Now they head to Burlington, Vermont. It's a, a lot, of, a lot of nice hot chocolate and hippies up there. You know what I mean? Just Burlington, Vermont. Go, go some skiing. Get, might as well. I guess they're in New Hampshire, though. They have skiing. Uh, anyway, they're getting 13 and a half in what the hell is the name of the stadium again that they're firing, that they never lose in? It is the, uh, the Roy Patrick Gymnasium. Check the vending machine. Uh, always worth it. And um, look, they never. They never lose at this place. They're 14 and one. And that only loss was to Colgate. Who's a factory too in the Northeast. Um, they yeah. played with their food. They almost got bit. They just thought, Hey, Albany, the great Danes had only won two of their last 12 and they almost fuck around and lost to the great Danes. That was their wake up call. They beat New Hampshire by 16 earlier this year on this very court. So when I see Vermont minus 13 and a half, the system is going to be back in effect. Give me the catamounts minus the points. I think they went by 20. Mac. Yeah, I'm joining you. I, I think like you said, they played with their food. They got their scare out of the way. They're going to roll here. Let's go. Double lock Burlington, Vermont, NC Nick. What are you doing here? I don't think this is the same Vermont team. I think, you know, all year long, we've been wanting them to be the same and sure they've, they've covered some at home, but I think this is too many points here. I think, I don't think New Hampshire is a live dog to actually win, but I think Vermont wins by 10 or so. New Hampshire has some good road wins this year. They won at UMass Lowell. They won at Rhode Island. They won at Maine. Uh, it was just a four point game at New Hampshire last week. I want to say it's too many points. So I'm going to go to New Hampshire. Mm, mm, mm. Terrell, what are you doing here in, in Burlington? No, I think I'm still on Vermont. It, it, Vermont's just really way too good at home, and I think that this is, that was the wake up call game for them. They just played this team not too long ago, and they understand that hey, we almost lost to that team. Like they almost could have walked out of there with a win. They're not going to sit there and play with their food anymore. They saw that they almost got scared that last round. Now they turn it up on them. Give me Vermont to get it done. And also, I mean. New Hampshire's the 291st ranked offense at home. They actually score a much better, better number than they do on the road. I think that's going to be, that's going to be the problem you run into NC Nick, but uh, all right, folks, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by manscaped. We top of the morning to you. This episode is brought to you by St. Patrick's day shamrock shavers, manscaped, uh, 5.0 ultra the lawnmower 5.0 ultra this year. Don't just chase Rambos, make your own pot of gold and groom your little leprechaun with the leaders in below the kilt care. Say goodbye to your Clover forest with manscapes, lawnmower 5.0 ultra and let your confidence shine bright. Embrace the luck of the Irish and join 10 million men, the 10 million men worldwide uh, who trust manscaped head over to manscaped.com. Use that promo code SGPN for 20% off plus free shipping. I mean, I don't need to sell you guys. I've been, I've been a manscape user for years here. And ever since I used manscape, I can proudly say I found my pot of gold at the end of the old rainbow. All right. So meet your lucky charm for St. Patrick's day. The lawnmower 5.0 ultra. The trimmer comes with two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads. One for the old classic trim and a, a new, a brand new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. All right. And it's also got 
uh, dual LED spotlights. You know, you can navigate your shamrock patch in peace. Don't worry. Uh, and, and if you're worried about making a mess, fear not this fucking thing is waterproof. You could be, you could be sitting there, you know, in the Atlantic ocean with your goddamn uh, lawnmower 5.0 and just handling your business. You can go wherever. All right. Underneath the waterfall, like an ivory spring commercial doesn't matter. Um, just uh, jump on over there. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the promo code SGPN manscaped.com. Once again, that's 20% off and free shipping promo code SGPN manscaped.com. The St. Patrick's this St. Patrick's day. Make sure your little hairy leprechaun is, l- is luckier than ever with manscaped. Don't know that I've ever referred to uh, uh, my guy as a little hairy leprechaun, but anyway, uh, still check out <laughs> manscaped.com promo code SGPN. I appreciate their creativity. Uh, we're also brought to you by champs. Champs is hosting a free March madness bracket contest for a chance to win a thousand dollars. Plus if you uh, host your own March madness pool on champs, you'll get an extra free entry into the bracket contest. Tiebreakers are determined by uh, those who enter first. So uh, make sure you jump on over there right fucking now head to sports gambling podcast.com slash champs. That's sports gambling podcast.com slash champs. All right, we are back and currently Hofstra up two, eight minutes left. Um, we also have St. Mary's up 16 on Santa Clara, Northern Kentucky up 14 on Milwaukee and Omaha storms back and has a two point lead at the half against the Denver omelets. We had um, where we wanted them, just like I said. <laughs> it's just so predictable. When these teams go down 10, it's almost, it's got to be an almost live bet auto. At this point, it's like the most predictable shit ever. Uh, and, uh, and, and then, I mean, Montana up five on Portland state. I don't want them to have a lead in the first half. To tell you the uh, truth. They, they started out of the gate, 10, <laughs> zero lead. And I go, Oh, uh, terrible, terrible. It's the worst yeah. thing you can do in March. They're probably going to uh, lose now. <laughs> we did catch Nichols. Nichols won 72 51. Boom. The colonels rolling. Um, all right, back to tomorrow's slate. Canisius, the Golden Griffs are heading. Wait, where the Atlantic City? Where, what? I gotta ask you guys this question. I don't have all the cities in front of me, but is Atlantic City the worst place the tournament's held? <laughs> At least there's good. Nah, whatever place that is in Kansas. That's true. Kansas City, Kansas. Kansas City, Kansas might be a t- uh, actually no, South Dakota Kansas angle. City, man. Yeah. Kansas City is a great place. Kansas City's not in Kansas. It's, uh, well, there is a Kansas the, City, Kansas. Yeah. Part, part yeah. of it is. Part <laughs> of it is. <laughs> Wait, part I was about it. to say it's both. <laughs> yeah. right. It's Missouri. Next to it. <laughs> the, the arena, There's a Kansas City, Kansas, too. <laughs> the arena is in Missouri, though. And they have one of the cooler, the power and light districts where all the fan bases gather around is pretty cool. So. It's 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 a pretty fucking cool uh, tournament because Iowa State and Kansas fans are fucking crazy. No, well, you we also have nothing about the tournament. Um, we just asked about Kansas City, like in general. Kansas oh, yeah, City in barbecue, general man. sounds like it sucks. <laughs> yeah, good barbecue. Also, in addition to the barbecue, they have the uh, the museum or the Hall of Fame for the uh, the uh, Negro Baseball League, which is really cool to check out. Oh, in Kansas City. Why is Actually, that in Kansas? I, I, I think they moved. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I would just assume they move be- it. Well, that, last time I was yeah. out in Kansas City, which is maybe six or seven years ago, I went to it. It was really cool. If they have it, like they were talking out. about it, and maybe it's still there. So, well, uh, I can't. Well, update. Atlantic City, they they have a Hall of Fame, didn't? Don't they have the? Uh, I think I'm I'm not fucking with you. I think they have like nine ball pool Hall of Fame. <laughs> Where? In, in Atlantic City, don't they? I, I think they have something like that. Right? Yeah, way that I want to say they have like if you're playing a game of pool, they have some type of uh, Hall of Fame there. I could be I full mean, of if, shit, but if we're being fair, I'm currently scrolling uh, WarrenNolan.com right now with all the conference tournaments. Minneapolis isn't the ideal place to host a tournament. <laughs> That's where the Big Ten ones this year. Land of ten thousand lakes. Speak oh, for yourself. I, I went to the Bad final idea. four. I went to the final four that one year there. That place sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I hate I hate Minneapolis. It yeah, not yeah. not a pl- not, not, not a ideal. Uh, that means you hit oh, on someone Cleveland. at the bar. It's the pit of America. <laughs> uh, Mid American tournaments there. That's the pit of America. There you Cleveland. go. Everybody. Uh, I, there, there's the Michigan. They're talking bad about Ohio. Yeah, right there. There. Oh. <laughs> it, I will like, say literally, if you look at the United States, how it's shaped. The armpit is fucking Ohio. 
Yeah, wow. look yeah, at Clinton North does kind of suck. It's the arm. Well, I, I, Hope right and I there. went there trying to get a beer, and like all the bars shut down at like ten o'clock. Yeah, I, what's going on in Cleveland? Downtown Cleveland. I would think the bars would be open all night because you want to drink your fucking pain away. But instead, <laughs> what the hell was going on in downtown Cleveland, where every damn bar was closed at, at even the speaking, even the hotel we're at, uh, asking for a beer. Of, Cleveland's yeah. a bad city. You're right. Cleveland's a dump. Yeah, speaking of uh, bars just open all night, like on the SGP show, th they gave Nashville a bad rap. Come on. That's well, they're, a perfect they're... place. You get bounced, you can just go hit up Broadway. Oh, it's yeah. like it's Nashville's like uh, really... bachelorette, you know, like the uh, bachelorette yeah, parties exactly. everywhere. Nashville's turned into like one big bachelorette party, so I don't know, man. I, I'll pass <laughs> season on that. season yeah. gets done and go get laid remember. before the NCAA tournament. Honestly, the all of these places sound like they suck. <laughs> like none of these places have sound good. I don't know what y'all are. You start to sell yourself on Atlantic City being way cooler. You're like, no, hey, you know what? Really. Atlantic City's not bad. <laughs> time um, out, time out, time out. We're not going to say Atlantic City is in the same uh, stratosphere as fucking Nashville. Nashville's <laughs> awesome. Nashville, no, Nashville's awesome. much better. Than Atlantic City does suck. Yeah, yeah. They, they have Nashville, the Nashville, yeah. Nashville. And guys, we're talking about a bunch of college kids too. Like the honky the, tonk baby, let's go. The bridesmaids parties are fun. <laughs> I've had, fun in, I've had fun in Nashville. I've had fun in Nashville. Yeah, I've had fun in Nashville. Um, just saying, Atlantic City, sketchy. I was in AC sketchy. last summer. It, it, it's still shitty. I mean, but you know, there's look, there's there's casinos. We like casinos. That's true. We like gambling. That's true. Uh, so anyway, Mount St. Mary's is laying three and a half. I'm gonna ride these Mountaineers. I think they're gonna get it done against Canisius. I can be talked into a lock here. Uh, Mac, what are you doing here? I'm kind of surprised this line was a little bit bigger, um, but I but I will take the Mountaineers. You know, maybe a little Mountaineer parlay in there. I think we should. Let's lock yeah. this. Let's lock this. <laughs> little Mount St. Mary's in West Virginia. Let's go. A little Mountaineer <laughs> two step. Go ears. NC Nick, uh, where are you going here? I'm with you guys, but I'm not gonna lock it. I I think Mount St. Mary's is better at home. Yeah, these two teams are very, very equally matched. When I was trying to look at both teams, like. Nothing really stood out other than Canisius. Uh, they were just not good against the top of the conference where Mount St. Mary's was better. So I think there's the slightly, the slightly better team, but they're a team I only bet on when at home, not in Atlantic City. So I'm going to let you guys go with it, but that will that will be my side. Terrell, what are you doing here in the MAAC in Atlantic City? I'm taking Mount St. Mary's because that's the only one of these two teams whose name I can say properly. <laughs> Canisius? I think I butchered Canisius. Also, <laughs> I do the zero. FCS show with Gulf Coast Guru, and he always says Marist, Marist, and I'm like, it's Marist, right? And he's like, well, I don't think you're saying it right. He's like, I don't think you're saying it right. I don't think you're fucking saying it right. Um, yeah. So Canisius, whatever the fuck. Um, I do think Mount St. Mary's is is a better team, though. I think they're gonna get it done. Might be it might be tight until like the five minute mark down the stretch. Mount St. Mary's will make the better plays. Uh, they have a better team. They get oh, it done. You mean like every other MAAAC game? Pre yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> well, n minus Sienna games. Um, yeah. Bryant, uh, UMass Lowell in Lowell, Massachusetts. Remember, this is still on campus. Uh, man. So this, they just played. Yeah, they just played the other day, and Bryant uh, got fucked up by Lowell by what, 22 points on February 29th at the Costello Athletic Center. Um, you know, for some stupid reason, I think Brian's going to give him a game. I think Phil Martelli Jr.'s calling up his dad, saying, "Your your season's cooked. All right, your season's cooked there in Ann Arbor, Dad. What can I do? Give me some adjustments. What can I do so we don't lose by twenty two fucking points?" For some reason, I just think Brian's going to cover this game. Lowell has a, a history of playing with their food. Give me the give me the Bulldogs plus six and a half. I, I don't know that I'm going to bet this, but maybe. Uh, Mac, what are you doing here? I'm going to take Lowell just because they're at home. Uh, looking back last year, they did not play with their food in the semifinals. They beat New Hampshire by 11. Um, I think they're going to win around seven by seven or eight. They'll pull away at the end, get to the final and have another crack at Vermont or have the right to lose to Vermont once again in the title game. Yeah. NC Nick, uh, what are you doing here in Lowell, Massachusetts? I agree with Mac. I mean, the, the best two teams in this conference are Lowell and, and Vermont and Brian is 0 four against those two. They haven't been able to get within nine points of either of those teams. So there's a clear separation here between the top two and everybody else. Brian is probably third best, but I don't think 
they can hang with uh, UMass Lowell here, and uh, I'll lay the points. That is a good point. Also, that Scott's talking about Earl Timberlake, one of their better players. Game time decision with a hand injury. Uh, Terrell, what are you doing here in Lowell, Massachusetts? I don't know. I think this line is off. I'm taking Bryant. It, it, if you first of all, one, this game was played as you said, February 29th. That's not an actual day, so the game really didn't count. So we really <laughs> should just throw that throw that game out. That game really actually didn't count. But if you're looking at this, look at the recent form after that game. Three straight wins for Bryant. A, a little bit of a squander against Albany, but they really took care of business against NJIT in Maine. And look at this. This U.S. law team lost to Maine. Like, you know, they lost the two games, once to Vermont, once to Maine, then didn't really look that good against UMBC. I think Bryant's playing a better ball right now. So I'll take Bryant in points. Yeah, I'm with you too. They won three in a row. I like that angle. Uh, they uh, Both teams play pretty damn good defense. If if Bryant can just – they're going to need Timberlake, though, because that offense is going to have to move. They're 250th in offensive rating. Um, so they're gonna need to score some points. Um well, did you see Clark's comment? That's pretty funny. Hand hand injury, aka okay, hey, I'm going into the portal. Uh, might be something to that. Might be something to that. Um Lamar is uh taking on McNeese State. I don't think we have a line on that. Chat, uh Noah, can you check on that? Because that we just found out that these two were playing what like a couple hours ago. Yeah. Uh I'm not sure there's a line out on Lamar taking on McNeese, but Will Wade, strong ass offer. Um, it'll be an interesting game. Lake Charles, that's a, the home of McNeese. So they're going to be playing at home. Uh, check the picks page for that one, sportsgamblingpodcast.com. We got Stony Brook Hofstra tied at 51 at the four minute mark. No way Hofstra's going to cover this now, right? Um, it doesn't look good. Next up, uh, we got a championship game going on, guys. Wagner, Mary Mac, Mary Mac won the conference a year ago. Couldn't go because of a stupid NCAA rule where they just deprive kids of having fucking fun in important years of their fucking life. Thank you. Thank you. NCAA. But now they've been waiting two years. If they win, they're in. We saw what fairly Dickinson did. The, the second place team took down Purdue a year ago. The vacuum company Wagner though has been hot. They've been, they're catching six and a half. This is a on-campus game there. Mary Mac. I think it's Mary Mac's moment. I think we lay the points with Mary Mac. I'm going to lock up Mary Mac minus six and a half. You've been waiting two fucking years for this. All right. They get it done. Lay it. What are you doing here, Mac? We're going to battle. Give me, give me Wagner. I think this is a one possession game. I think Merrimack may get this done, but it's a lot of pressure. Now that they can actually dance. NC Nick. Points. No, I'm with you, Colby. And, uh, you know, Merrimack only lost one game at home this year, and it was actually two Wagner in North Andover. I don't think they can come in and win two in a row or even keep it close here. To everything you said earlier uh, earlier in this pod, I mentioned that Tommy's had a chance to, to dance. And thankfully, I was corrected by some people in the chat. I was wrong there. But I do know that Merrimack does have a chance to make the NCAA tournament if they win this game. I think they come out with everything they got. And I think it's a pretty easy win for an overmatched Wagner team that probably shouldn't even be here anyway. There we go. Terrell. Yeah, I'm with you. I'll actually lock this. This is the redemption arc. This is their redemption arc. They're finally finishing the story. They're finishing the story and getting to the championship. I like Mary Matt to get it done. This is a short enough number for me. I'll lay six and a half. Nick, is that a lock for you? Yes, it is. Boom. We got a big, big time battle. It's the fucking OK Corral over here. Gandhi, Terrell, Nick, saying Warriors come out to play. Max in there, turning on the vacuum. Give the Seahawks a Wagner. Let's go. Spoiler, the vacuum. <laughs> uh, Miami, let's take it on. Colby, Boston real College. quick, can you tell me uh, who told Hey to play a parlay yesterday? Who, who told who? What? What's this? Hey, 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 in the, in the oh, chat. Um, lost another parlay to your garbage picks. Uh, did we give away a parlay? Hey, hey, you yeah, you suggested maybe the big sky one if, if he played that one. Hmm. Uh, if, well, we, if, if there was a big sky parlay, yeah, rest in peace to that. Well, I, if so, <laughs> if so, I had Montana, I had Montana State. No, I would be on the right side of it right now. Montana yeah. State hit. And I took Montana on the other side. I actually took Portland State with the points, but I'm saying Montana State and Portland State would be the ones with the points. 
that I, that I actually sided with if that was the case, but Hey, Hey, do, do us, do yourself a favor and grab your nuts and say, Hey, I <laughs> bet this game myself and I can, I accountability. I know the youth doesn't like this word <laughs> account of ability and say, I lost money. All right. I lost money on the decisions that I made. What the hell are we doing here? Uh, <laughs> while you're while you're touching your nuts, use it with manscape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Great, great work, Noah. Um, and uh, I didn't yeah, know your thumb hit the submit button for him. <laughs> Unfucking believable. Um, crazy, folks. I want to tell you the college basketball experience is brought to you by hall of fame bets. Win bigger by betting smarter this NBA season with hall of fame bets, a sports betting analytics platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Research every NBA and soccer bet with historical stats and data. Stop betting in the dark to join over 30,000 users researching with hall of fame bets to craft more intelligent data driven parlays. Download the hall of fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching, start winning with hall of fame bets. <laughs> That's a good point. Is the hostel the host- leg still alive? <laughs> yeah, there's three minutes. Uh, left. Or, it's it's uh, getting dicey though, man. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. yeah it's Why getting dicey. Like, it's, I'm, I'm, dicey. I'm, it's sweating alive, out a, I'm sweating out a 33 to one on Stony Brook to win the damn conference. Right? Oh my god, this fucking guy. Um, fucking all right, we got a couple in, more plays in your left. Defense, in your defense, the hostile leg hasn't lost yet, so that means he differentiated from your parlay and did something else and lost already. So that's his fault. <laughs> exactly. for, for what it's for what it's worth, I do have a piece of Hofstra too. That was the strategy. Oh, look at this we, guy. We got huh? both sides of this. There you go. Um, I mean, Charleston's winning tomorrow. <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Hofstra gets there. I want Speedy Clax to get yeah. to the tournament. Uh, we have a classic tomorrow. And what I by by classic I mean Doug Flutie drops back, he finds Gerald Phelan in the fucking end zone. <laughs> this happened. Noah was negative twenty five years old, but god damn it, it was a classic. Miami, Boston College, in uh, Washington D.C. of all places. They just played. Jimmy Laranegas had success. He won a Elite Eight game against UConn with with uh, I almost said Rip Hamilton, Rudy Gay, Rudy Gay. Um, Hey, he's back home. Miami's laying one and a half against Boston College. Oh man, don't make me pick this one. I, I lean Boston College just because I was watching that that Miami wasn't was it the Miami Florida State game, dude? Miami Florida State game. There was like a timeout there where it just looked like no one had interest in playing basketball. <laughs> it just was like they're going to the huddle, and it was just like. Man, this is like a two point game. You would think they'd be like, Hey, we do this. We do this. It just looked like, Hey, I fucking hate my teammate here. That money can do that. Money can do that. Uh, <laughs> with the NIL shit, you know, and I was reading about USC's thing out here, USC's, you know, they paid, uh, I think it was Dorian singer, a, a wide receiver from Arizona, a shit ton of money. And he ended up being a backup, but he was making way more money than the starter. And that shit was an issue all season. Like saying, Hey man, this guy's like making what, five times more than me. Uh, so that was part of maybe what was wrong in the locker room with the Trojans last year. So I'm on BC. I, I think like they're a little more together as a team. Do I feel good about it? No, but uh, I'll take BC because Miami is certainly the more talented team here. Uh, Mac, what are you doing here? I'm going to lock up Miami. I think they just played. Uh, Larry says he's coming back next year. New life, new season. I I think they're going to be motivated tomorrow. I actually think they're going to play well. I think this is a Miami spot where they get up, and I actually think they they could win a couple games in this tournament. We've seen Miami on the neutral floor make a couple shots. Give me Miami. Let's go. The U. For, for I Mac back. could be saying this about Miami. That's <laughs> I hate Miami. Right? I'm yeah. surprised. <laughs> NC Nick, what are you doing here? I agree with Mac. I think, you know, Miami, the last three or four games, they knew they weren't, they had no chance at and at large. So I think they were kind of just waiting for the tournament. That's why they rested pack last game. He didn't play. I, I think Miami wins this game. I'm going to go with the better coach. You're swaying my pick. You're swaying my pick here. Larry Nega, man. Larry, Larry he is, Nega. And he's fire in DC. Oh, All yeah. right. I'll take Miami. No fucking lock though. Uh, Terrell, what are you doing here? <laughs> Yeah, I'm on Miami too. I mean, it's it's the pedigree. I think the experience and the pedigree is going to reign supreme in this one, and they're going to be able to get it done. And 
Yeah, I just don't trust BC to get it done twice in a row. No way. That's a good point. And I, I now I preserve my bet of not betting on Boston College still since 1993. Uh, <laughs> Boston College Athletics too. That's football and basketball. Um, Manhattan. I'm gonna Iona. do. I'm gonna do my best to actually persuade you to bet on Boston College because. I'm having a lock battle here with at least Matt. Ooh. Oh, uh, all right. I think the wrong team's favored. I'm going to take BC Eagles here. I'm looking at one team that wants to come in here and play this game, and I'm looking at another team that has slept walk through the back half of the season. They've lost eight games in a row, completely uninterested. Boston College, let's not forget, two years ago, they had a kid that was crying after losing their last game in this program. Like He just wanted to go out and eat for crying out loud with his teammates this this team they they like each other <laughs> unlike miami i'm fucking locking this thing up i think they're playing multiple games here in washington dc and like we mentioned they just beat miami on the road by 10 the last week i like boston college here also quentin post best player on the floor here nor shadow mirror is not 100 either so one nigel pack maybe not even interested, but also has been battling injury. Omir battling injury. I think they're just in a rough spot here. I'm taking Boston College. Lock it up. Wow. <laughs> we got a battle in the capital. Mac, ride with the Hurricanes. Phoenix, Sam, come fly with the Eagles. Um, Yeah, I mean, I think the bet that game is still crazy. Like, just because, you know what I mean? Like, I think that's you, you, 1-800 gambler. Um, because that, <laughs> that one is a tough one to, 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 to bet on. None of you guys made good enough points where I, I, I was sold by what, you know. I totally like, agree. Yeah. Like, oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Larry, he goes to Clyde's in uh, DC. They know him on a first name basis. Right. Uh, now, I just, I don't know that his team's excited about being there. But, uh, Anyway, let's continue on because Manhattan, the Jaspers just lost by a half court shot. This team's showing heart by staying in that game. <laughs> They're catching eight and a half against Iona. Noah Beanick hates Iona with a passion. And, uh, you know, I'm curious to see where he goes here, but I- I'll take the eight and a half in the Jaspers. I think it's two, eight and a half points in the MAAC is like a thousand points in real life. Um, oh, I, I could be talked into a lock here with the Jaspers. Mac, what are we doing here? Manhattan just beat Iona by 17 last week. It's tempting. I mean, it's tempting. I mean, if you lay eight and a half with Iona this year, that's crazy because they have blown lead after lead after lead after lead. And Gallagher, man, Gallagher, his guys actually play for him. Yeah, uh, I'll join you. Let's go, Manhattan. Dog it can up I, here in the MA. Can I interest anyone into a, a little Manhattan clam chowder special? No. Nope. <laughs> no way. All right. I'm on Iona. Oh, You're on Phoenix. Iona? <laughs> I'm on I'm not liking them, but I'm on Iona. Okay. I don't you know I don't think Manhattan shoots over fifty percent from three like they did when they beat the Gales last week or so. So I I think Iona wins this going away. Hmm. Phoenix, I see you're up there. Yeah, real quick. Uh, Hofstra's just this? having a no, no, no. The Hofstra's having a meltdown of a lifetime. They haven't scored a single point in about four and a half minutes. <laughs> you can always count on Noah to just kill the Stony enemy. Brooks on a 7 0 <laughs> run. Stony Brooks on a 7 0 run. I hate this Stony Brook team. God, they won. This is ridiculous. They, the last make point, this? the last point where Hofstra scored a bucket. Just a point, actually. Oh, they Five won. 15 left in the second. That's a dagger. They just hit a three. It, it, it's over. So the, I cannot believe the Stony Brook team. <laughs> it's going to I mean, it's easy to see a tide turn. In Northeastern should have beat them. Oh, uh, my. Just. Did we beat them? <laughs> yeah. I, Every, think might everybody's have. I know beat the them. human being and fish can coexist peacefully. Uh, Sacramento state is taking on Montana state in the semifinal on ESPNU tomorrow. Do we have a line on this yet? Does anyone see a line out there? I know we just found out that this is the opponent when Montana state, state won like two line. hours. <laughs> I think Montana state in it, you know, they, they, Danny sprinkles off to, uh, to Logan in year one. And what I'm drawing a blank on their coach's name right now, but um, I think Montana state is going to find themselves in the, could we have a brawl in the wild 
Big Sky Championship game. That would be Matt, fantastic. Matt Logie or or Logie, yeah. however yeah. you pronounce Matt Logie. it. He's, yeah. he's done he's done a good job. Like you said, they struggled in the non con. Um but he I mean he came over for uh what point point loma and Whitworth. So he was a D two head coach and he's he's been a good fit. Yeah, yeah. And look, people come in here saying you picked uh, look, I did talk we did talk shit about Stony Brook. We did. <laughs> But I don't want that yeah, to get you, lost. You guys were sold that they were losing their first game to Northeastern. Yeah, I was. I was. Uh, I was bragging. Broke my heart again. And but if you're if you're coming in here talking shit, let me just recite. Huh? Towson. I hit that one. Uh, Cleveland State <laughs> hit that one. East Tennessee State hit that one. JMU hit that one. Montana State hit that one. Nichols hit that one. Fuck you if you're picking out one loser. All right. Um. Well, you're not undefeated, Colby. What the hell, man? Yeah, like do what better, are you better, Colby? What do we do pay? You? I know. What's that? What do you pay me for? I, well, yeah, what do we pay you for? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. The, the sports. What What do everybody always complain or say about what the advertisements, the sports books pay you to place bets and yeah. advertise for <laughs> yeah. them? They pay you. We wish. Well, <laughs> it, it is hilarious because I did like solo out Stony Brook. Like I was like, this fucking team sucks. <laughs> uh, you know, like, and I, I really, I feel that way. I still feel that way. I mean, they're having a nice little run, this but they have what March they, is all about. This is Arkansas state 2.0. This um, is back to back years too, dude, for uh speedy clacks and being a heavy favorite in a semifinal game and just completely choking on national TV. I would Remember love to see year? anybody that actually bet Stony Brook today. Dude, that air ball was brutal. Like I think even people that have Stony Brook futures didn't even bet Stony Brook today. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey's better. <laughs> hey, uh, he says he's. I'm fucking sick of it. Well, fuck, dude, I went six and one. All right, you, you could have took all my opposites. You'd be one and six. All right, so. Hey, he go. said I twice in that sentence and said you once. Hey. <laughs> There you go. Uh, Sac State, Montana State. We don't have a line on that, right? No, no, just, no one's no, no, no. It's just one. Final. Okay, no, I got nothing on that one. Sorry about it. Sac well, I got State. a lock here. I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> ja- Jacksonville State's located not far from Huntsville, Alabama, <laughs> and Florida International. The airport is awful on the fucking road. This is kind of a home game for Jacksonville State. Jacksonville State's laying three and a half. I think they get it done by more than that. I will lay the three and a half with the Gamecocks there in the uh, CUSA opener. Who's coming with Mac? What are you doing here? Absolutely. And I, I touch on this too, in the preseason conference, you say Ray Harper's won the league every single time in his first year in a new conference. Uh, whether it was at Western Kentucky, when he won conference, you say, whether it's at Jack state in the OVC, now they're in a new conference back in the conference USA, Jack State. I like I like him here. He's a good tournament coach. And I don't trust the fucking airport. Fuck that. The airport like, on the road is an yeah. easy fade. Jack State, uh, let's go. Lock it up. NC Nick, what are you doing here? I'm gonna disagree with you guys. Call me crazy. I don't love the play. I'm not gonna bet it. Uh perhaps I'm getting too cute here, but I'm gonna go FIU. The last five games, they've been playing pretty good ball. They beat Liberty and Western Kentucky. They hung tough on the road against New Mexico State and Utah. No. No, 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 no. We covered it. It was only a games. two point game against yeah. Jacksonville State. Okay. But still, I mean, I laid three and a half with New Mexico State. New Mexico State was was cruising by what, five minutes into that game. Just saying that they were they were in that game on the road. So uh, I think it's a close game. I think Jacksonville State wins by two or three. Interesting. Terrell, what are you doing here in this one in the CUSA? Hmm. I think I'm going. I think I'm going with Jack State here, and it's really the rebounding edge. This Florida national team is a smaller team, and last time out, Jackson State, oh, Jacksonville State, only lost, only won by two on the road, but they won that rebounding battle, thirty nine to twenty seven. Like I just don't think that that's going to be indicative of a two point loss. They should have won by a lot more than that. I think now on a neutral court, it's going to be a little bit of a different story. I'll take Jacksonville State. Yeah, I think the real thing is the the home crowd and the defense behind them. They're forty seventh in the country in defensive rating out of three hundred sixty two. Meanwhile, the airport two hundred twenty six. That's all the difference right there, uh, and the, obviously the fact that they're kind of at home. So 
That's the play there. Double lock on the Gamecocks of Jacksonville State. Are you are any interest in a lock throw? You know what? Yeah, I lock it. 44 to 27 in that first matchup. The rebounding edge is going to Jacksonville State. Neutral court. Go get it done. There you go. NC Nick. One man army over there. Uh, Colby, real get- quick. Do you guys want to pick the games without lines with the Ken Palm projected line? I can tally those up for you guys real quick while you're picking the last game. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. If what, you were, can. what were the games that we didn't have odds on? Uh, big, big sky games. Yeah. Lamar McNeese and then the big sky games are who's playing who? That no Sac State and Montana State. We don't know the other one until the outcome, but uh okay, Sac cool. State and Montana State would be the other one. Actually, but yeah, I mean I guess you won't be able to tell me. Soon gonna uh, be, be Stony Brook and uh Charleston. That's true. true. You can find that one there. Alrighty. Um Sienna is catching ten and a half against Niagara Falls in Atlantic City. <laughs> Um, Niagara won by seven the last time they played, but it wasn't in Boardwalk Hall. Sienna's only won four games this year. What if I told you that they back on when the hell was this? January fifteenth, stuck it to Greg Paulus. Yeah, stuck it to Greg Paulus in these purple (laughs) eagles. Another All right. Pr- private school pussy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> give me the Who points all day here. Want to be? Give me the points. <laughs> give me the points all day. I'm not. T- I, look, very rarely in an MAAC game, and even when they had Patino, I hated laying double digits. <laughs> I, I'm not laying double digits. I know Sienna's horrible. Give me the points. Might even bet this tomorrow if I'm having a good day. Mac, what are you doing here? I will guarantee you're going to bet it because it's the last game of the evening. So <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely going to happen. Everybody in this chat will have action on Sienna Niagara. Give me Sienna. Check the picks page on whatever number we get. <laughs> <laughs> and see, Nick, what are you doing here in AC? You know, I said earlier I, or last <laughs> week, I said, don't bet on bad teams. But here I go again. I got money on Louisville. And I think I, mean, I think I'm going to bet Sienna here. They split the, the, the they split the regular season series. Those two lines were five and a half and seven and a half. And now we're getting 10. It, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Sienna's covered four straight. They're hot from an ATS standpoint, at least. Give, they me, are. give, me, <laughs> give me Sienna. I'll, I'll, I'll lock it up. <laughs> Terrell, what are you doing here? Oh, he's locking Sienna. it over there. I'll play his music. NC Nick locking up Sienna. Terrell, uh, what are you doing here? Sienna was four and 10. ATS at home this season on the road, 10 and eight, 10 and eight. I think I'm locking up Sienna too. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> let's just do it. There I think go. we should go out with a bang. All four. Well, let's bet the fuck out of this game. Back. Sienna, this Louisville, game. parlay tomorrow, everybody. Oh, yes. Man, that's, no, that's you got to side on this. You can throw West Virginia in there too. <laughs> no, I would actually side with Niagara. So you probably didn't want to hear that. <laughs> that's good. Okay. Well, still, yeah, everybody I'm for the Quadruple lock on the St. Bernard's. Um, that's how are we crazy. Looking? They're a four-win team. What do you mean? Like, literally, <laughs> they have a win for every one of us that's betting them, and we're over here betting them. This is insane. <laughs> uh, shout out to jo- Joel. <laughs> Uh, says Colby's the worst. Appreciate you. Uh, uh, Justice perfect says Colby. Uh, actually, Jacksonville State's uh, East Alabama. It's only two hours. Uh, that's my. I mean, I, I was aware it was two hours, but still, it's a lot. Miami is a lot further away. I would think there's some potential graduates from Jacksonville plus, State there in plus Huntsville. Going from yeah. Miami to Jacksonville, Alabama is just not the most appealing thing to do in the world. Yeah, it's a, well, I feel like, do you even fly direct? Are you going to take a bus? It's going to be a bus? Mac, in those smaller conference, you take the bus, Florida right? Florida International? Uh, yeah, they're busing, yeah, right? yeah, you bus yeah. it. You, bu- you bus anything seven or eight hours in. Yeah. Uh, so just to update you, and, and I hope you're grabbing those lines, Noah, but uh, Hofstra just I hit did. a three with 6.7 seconds left to cut it to a three-point game. So if they can get a steal, <laughs> if they can get a steal here, uh, and and bury a three. Look at that. This is a hard three. He how the fuck did he make that? Um, 
to March Madness three. <laughs> how the fuck did that <laughs> yeah, go? In? How did that go <laughs> in? Um, in? Noah, um, uh, you having any success here? Because it's a uh, you know yeah. we, this, this this is live. The show's I got live. Um, okay, I, I got say, I, I got I bet the... St. Mary Sue by the way for that jackass. So you can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, by the way, I'll do a quick score check. How about that? Nice little score check. Currently, uh, Stony Brook up three with uh, 6.7 seconds. Oh, I guess four seconds now. Uh, on, hold on. St. Mary's up 16. I did take Santa Clara. Northern Kentucky up four. Omaha tied up with Denver, 11 minute mark. Oh. And Montana up six at the half against Portland State. Um, I have a future on Montana, but I have Portland state plus seven and a half. So I'm all over the place. Um, what are we doing here? Beanick? What's your, uh, Alrighty, what, so yeah. we'll do the, we'll do the other two games first before, uh, this Stony Brook officer game is official, uh, starting off with McNeese and Lamar. I mean, if you're stripping it straight from Ken Palm, it would be minus 18. I have a feeling it's not going to be that high. I have a feeling it's probably going to be around the 15, 14 area. He missed the first free throw. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, uh, in the matchup, they have 14, four. Oh, it's already updated on the fan match or whatever that uh, part of the tab. On yeah. Ken let's Park. rock with 14. Cause yeah, I was, I was going straight from the, uh, the main menu here. <laughs> we made so. it unbelievable. Pressure shot. He makes it. The free throw answer missing the first of so the four point lead. Five seconds left. We're looking back good. Uh, if you took Sony Brook money line. Um, all right. So yeah, pick it up fourteen. I'm all over McNeese. I think we should lock it. I would have played. And uh, Bartorvik yeah. no, has thirteen and a half. Uh, I'll lock up McNeese minus the points. Mac, I'm gonna take the points. I don't. I, the only thing with me, I know Will Wade is thinking about his next job. I don't know where there is mine's at. So I'll take the points, but I'm not going to bet this game. And see, Nick, what are you doing here? I'm not, yeah, I'll, I'll take the points too. I think the last game a couple weeks ago was a two point game at Lamar. And I think there's pressure on the one seed McNeese. I think it's closer than expected. Uh, Terrell, what are you, 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 you're locking up McNeese with me, is that? Yeah, I, yeah, I think McNeese is the far better team. <laughs> Yeah, Lake Charles is the home of McNeese. This place will be packed. All the difference. Uh, what's next, Noah? All right, next game would be Montana State, Sac State. Uh, Montana State minus eight. Actually, let's let's rock with five. Five. Wow. Yeah. It's five. Big it's difference. Five. It's, yeah. it's five on. It's five on uh, the uh, what the fan match, and then on yeah. Bartorvik, it is. Five and a half. So yeah, if it's five, I'm locking Montana State. <laughs> if it's eight, I'm taking Sac State. Oh boy. <laughs> so um I just No, it's five. It's five. Five? Montana State's a yeah. way better team. Courtney Love is in the fucking building again for another fucking big sky game. Uh, that is I, crazy. Give me the Bobcats. I want to brawl the wild championship game. Let's go. Mac, what are you doing here? I'm I've been kicking myself for the last 24 hours. I've talked about Sac State. They've been getting better. They beat E Dub. They're gonna beat Montana State. They're gonna move on to the title game. Sac State lock it up. <laughs> <laughs> How can you have that Sac much confidence State? in the Hornets? Uh Dude, NC Nick, what would you do great here? Great the last couple games. Both against you. You know what Washington. I'm doing. Yeah. You're locking. You know Montana what I'm doing, this, this no, this is more of a college football experience joke, but Patty C and I went to the same high school. We were the Hornets. Colby went mm, to a different high school. Mm. Sacramento State, what's they're the Hornets. Come on, man. Buzz, buzz. Let's go, Sacramento State. Woo! Yeah. Going with Sac State. Lock? Is that a lock? Terrell. No, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. So. Terrell, Terrell, what would you be doing here in the uh the the big sky? Sac State's leading scorer is Duncan Powell, who former North Carolina ANC Aggie jumped Ooh. ship and left in the middle of the night and just <laughs> he just dipped. He left the game against who was it? Who was it? 
it was against I don't know it was against I think it was the Idaho game. Yeah, it was the Idaho game. He left it seven minutes in the game. And he's Just, their leading scorer. I'm taking Montana State. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that yes. Better. Go Sac State. <laughs> We are uh, doing some battle in the big sky. Where the hell is I? Where the hell is my, my theme music? Back and they're up three. Now we got a problem. Hey, hey, now we got a problem. Uh, we got a battle. Dundee. Riding with the Bobcats. Mac riding with the Hornets. What's your favorite play of the night, folks? Because we... Uh, you want to talk the have- the last CAA? The CAA final? Oh, do we have a number on that? Yeah. Yeah, so I I pulled it from Ken Palm. The first two have been a little off, but for what it's worth, uh, Charleston would be minus eight and a half against Stony Brook, and I think that's probably right. I know that human being and fish can cover. I'll take the eight and a half. <laughs> All right, uh, and the Sea Wolves. They're they're having a magical year, Tri- or tournament, I should say, not a year, but tournament. And I think they can stay within that number. Charleston still wins, though. Mac, what are you doing here? Uh, I think we have another JMU Arc State. I, I where, can see it. I where can see it. JMU survived Texas State. They survived the scare. Charleston survived the scare tonight. They should have lost. They're breathe. They're breathing. I think they they're locked in tomorrow. I think they blow Stony Brook out. So I'm gonna lock Charleston. Whatever it is tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Maybe you swayed my pick there. Uh, I let's, think let's I take tend, Charleston. Yeah, I think I tend to agree with Mac as well. Lay the points. Terrell. I was on Charleston until all of you guys were on Charleston too. Yeah, <laughs> apparently you guys don't have any luck picking Stony Brook. I'll take Stony Brook, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that will probably <laughs> take that money line because the way I've been picking Stony hey, Brook, for you'll what be it's fine. worth, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna hedge this thing. And like eight and a half is a tough hedge because I I could get fucked out of both. You know, Stony Brook loses by less than three possessions and they still lose the fucking game. So. That's a tough hedge. I'm just gonna let the let that thing ride. All right, let's give away our favorite play of the night. Favorite play of the night. I know this is a hard question to ask, um, but but uh, to me, I actually think it's Jacksonville State against the airport. I think that's my favorite play of the night. Um, you might be able to talk me into Mary Mac, but. Uh, Hey, look at this. Justice says he missed a six leg uh, over under because Ooh. ETSU can't hit a free throw. That's Ooh. brutal, man. That's brutal. Uh, I feel, I feel sorry for you, man. Um, Mac, what's your top play? I got two. The old big 12 is going to get it done in Kansas city over the new big 12. Okay. <laughs> State in West Virginia. Chad G talked me into it. A little push. Let's go. Take the points. Sprinkle some on the money line in both. NC Nick, your favorite play of the night? You hinted at it. The Warriors, Mary Mac, punched their ticket. I think Mac's been saying lay six and a half. It falls in there perfectly. I think uh, they get it done going away. Yeah, shout out to Christopher Morris. Says it was a rough night for the poor suckers fading pick Dundee tonight. That is true. That is true. Uh, Terrell, uh, what do you, what's your favorite play of the board? Well, NC Nick took it. I do really like Mary Mac to get it done. But Louisville, come on now. Nine and a half for yeah. NC State. Love no it. way. Love it. Let's Lock go. It Louisville. Let's go. It's a uh, solid pick, too, if Horn doesn't play. Like, then they're alive. Let's go. Yeah. They're li- I mean, dude, he played in the first matchup. It was a tie game with a minute and 30 seconds left. Um, uh, right. Folks. Hey. Subscribe to my, the college basketball experience. Hit for what it's worth. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, <laughs> sorry about I'm that. I'm giving out LaSalle. Your, 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 your screen is so small. I, I don't know. even realize I you're know. fucking that's there. Why, you, who is that up there? Yeah. <laughs> Who's talking? <laughs> I'm uh, on LaSalle. Your uh, screen is as small as your little leprechaun. <laughs> oh. uh, LaSalle, LaSalle is, is your top play. I like it with Fran Dunphy. Um, all right, folks. Uh, Beanick just dipped out. He said, "Fuck these guys." Look, I see a uh, thousand eighty, a thousand ninety-one people watching right now. Uh, That's not the true number. There's oh, a bunch God, of Twitter algorithm. Whatever more like two thousand. Yeah, more yeah. more like two thousand. Two hundred and forty right? live on YouTube right now. Shout out to all the real ones. Mm, I'm not, taking not a screenshot of this. Uh, I hey, like those bots. All all right, as long as they're not kicking number. me off. Yeah. 
This number You're fucking horrible over there. You know what I mean? Is he yeah. sitting he's, over there? He's one of those guys that has those troll accounts trolling us on in the comments, I think. <laughs> he, he definitely he definitely Dude, does. everybody are you hey, one, hey? Uh, are you hey hey? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that you? Hey, hey Noah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, whenever whenever the Patty C fan club uh account popped up the first time, I was accused of running that, but that was not me. So was I. <laughs> we we think we we think we know who it was. Who oh yeah. Was it? <laughs> Wait, no. It's it's disappeared I, think it, recently. I think it's what no no it it tweeted something in the past couple weeks. Okay. Uh I think welcome to UAB is my is I'm laying I'm laying two, ding, ding, ding. minus 200 on welcome <laughs> to UAB. Um <laughs> Folks, I see 1091 people in here and let me finish this fucking point I'm trying to make. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. All right? All 1091 people watching this hit that like hit that subscribe uh we are the college basketball experience youtube.com slash the college experience uh make sure you give Terrell Furman a follow on twitter at really rail underscore underscore check out the nba gambling podcast the WNBA gambling podcast the nfl gambling podcast and give him a follow on all all platforms all right uh <laughs> nc nick is on twitter at nc underscore underscore n-i-c-k Give him a follow. He's uh, going to be on uh, what Wednesday night's college football experience episode as we uh, talk the AAC in 2024. I know we all have East Carolina winning the AAC and you know making their first appearance in the 12 team Invitational. Um, and uh, look, Moneyline Max on Twitter at Moneyline underscore Mac. Check out the Big 12 college experience. It's the Big 12. Also, Noah Beanick with the college baseball experience. Just hitting dingers all day over there. Um, I'm on Twitter at the Colby D. The college basketball experience is on Twitter at TCE on SGPM. But get this, folks, don't leave yet. We're back in one hour. Me, Beanick, Mac, talking conference tournament play. All right. So get back in here one hour, maybe even, maybe even less than one hour. Uh, so jump on over. Until next time, folks, this is the college basketball experience. You better start thinking about yours and we out of here. <laughs>